is our prayer. In your holy name, Amen. Right. Let's start. Yeah, the same thing. Let's start with that. What a moment captured on camera. So I'll tell you a little bit about it, but first, as you know, 2018 has been declared Nelson Mandela Year with various activities taking place nationally and internationally to remember this towering icon. Two cameramen are using exclusive images that they captured of milestone in, milestones in Mandela's life to create a broadcast series that will travel the world. One of them is SABC award-winning cameraman Sam Msibi, who covered Mandela's wedding uh, to Grasso Michelle. That was his video footage that you were looking at right now. He's in studio to tell us a little bit about it. So good to see you, Sam. Welcome to the white couch. I know that you're so busy <laughs> working behind the scenes. We never get to see you in front yeah, of the camera. Yeah, always behind the scenes. So good to see you too, yes. Gosh, so this, this footage of, of the life of Nelson Mandela, following him around, we'll get to that firstly, but particularly of the wedding. You did that, but you were not I, working I for did the, the wedding... Uh, we, I got a call just a week before the wedding that um, I must prepare myself to come with a camera to the president, to, to the president's house, Mandela's house. So my father was going to slaughter a beast. I was supposed to go home. I couldn't go home. I couldn't tell him why <laughs> because I was called in by the president. So when I arrived on Friday, there was a pastor, a Jew pastor, the, the one that married them because the Jews don't do anything on Saturday. Yes. So it, Saturday already, Friday already, there was this marriage uh, arrangement of, of uh, blessing. They blessed the, uh, Mandela and Gracia, very few guests. But on Saturday, which is the 18th, the guests were 18, the security were 18. Yeah. And then there was seven ministries that were, 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 were blessing the, the wedding. It was Muslim. Uh, Christian, Buddhism, everything was there to place that wedding to make it a, a, a super wedding. Look at this footage. I mean, there you've got uh, that's uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Uh, he's there giving them a big kiss. Uh, 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 Dandala as well, yeah. Reverend Dandala. He yeah. was busy presiding over this, yeah. and you busy filming all of this as, I mean, such an intimate ceremony. This must have been. One of those incredible moments that uh, I suppose you look back on and you think, wow, how, yeah, how did I get included in something like this? This is, this is history in the making. It was history in the making. Uh, indeed, it was history in the making. Yeah. I mean, when uh, uh, Mandela started kissing uh, Gracia, and he says, I've never done it before. And everybody started <laughs> laughing to say, how? Why, what do you mean you haven't done it before? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> he was lying in front of a lot of holy men, I'm sure. <laughs> there was definitely a couple of kisses yes. held there. But, you know, having a look at this video footage, has, has it been shown to the world? I mean, we've seen a couple we, we of photos. Have, we have, in fact, what happened on that day, Mandela, after the wedding, they kept the camera. Uh, I had to pick up the camera on Tuesday. Yes. Because they knew that I was going to go and start and selling the material because everybody was saying, I have a wedding, I have a wedding. And he says, no, I'll keep the camera. Uh, you'll pick it up on Tuesday. And when I picked it up on Tuesday, he says, you'll make money one day. You can have your camera and your footage. Because he says, I wouldn't let you go with the footage, no, go with the camera because yes. I don't know what you're going to do. Absolutely. Yes. But I respected that because we're sown to secrecy that there are things that we need not to tell anyone. You know. So when did you get that footage back? When did you actually I got get it on camera? Tuesday, the same uh, after the wedding, mm. and I stayed with it. And you never did anything with I it? I never did anything. hang on to it? Except that we, we broadcast with Swedish te Television 4. It was me and the pizza Monzo. So we, 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 we did a, a documentary called Mandela Privately, which was broadcast and also went into New York for the award there. Yeah. Mm. Now, this isn't the only footage that you've got, because, I mean, you, you were telling me that you were actually, prior to Madiba becoming president, you were hired to follow him around. I mean, you were yeah, his we, official camera, camera crew. Uh, yes, I get a, a letter that came from the uh, Jack Herbert uh, professor that we have, I have to cover 
Mandela for 300 days before he becomes, uh, uh, before he leaves the president of South Africa. Yeah. So basically... Before he leaves presidency? Yes. Okay, so this was his last 300 the days last, as president. The, the, the last Thanks 300 the days, yes. And okay. then I was following him everywhere. And such a feeling, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's such a feeling. Even when the parliament was closing down and the pictures there, you, you can see. But it's not only those pictures that we have of the 300 days. Prior to that, Rapita has his own pictures that he shot of Mandela when he came out of jail. The first Christmas, the first New Year. Wow. The first New Year after prison, the first Christmas after prison. Uh, when he was still with Winnie. So yeah. it's, a, it's a vast material, a lot of rare material that you can get. Are these all part of, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, are they part of SABC archi archives, or is this all your no, personal footage? it's personal footage. Now, what have you done with it? I mean, is, I know that this is obviously part of a series that you're wanting to put together. Yes, yes, indeed. It's yeah. a part of the series that we want to put together so that people can see. Wow. Yes. Have you started editing it? No, we'll start soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is it something that for this year, obviously being the year of Nelson Mandela? Yeah, I think if we can put up something this year, four or five, we'll be very happy because it will mean that uh, people will know things that have never seen, like they've just seen now, you know, on those pictures that we're here now. Yeah. Do you need permission from the family, though? Because I imagine it's quite... You must have quite I have some a very letter private personal. moments. I have a letter personally. So... I can go to the family, but the letter tells it all. Yeah. Mm. So you're able to, I mean, like you say, the, the first Christmas, the first New Year, yeah. you've got everything. I mean, yes. these moments that, um, and I mean, there are those private moments between the family, even though he is a, and always was a worldly man that belonged to the world. But I suppose behind closed doors, there were those moments. Yes, indeed. Yes, well, indeed. I mean, what did you, what are some of those moments that we perhaps didn't know about him as a man? You know, one of the moments that I will always say is, firstly, is that he was a, a, a humble person. But on the wedding, they cross, I don't know how you call it, the crisscross of the class before they toast for their wedding. Yeah. It was something amazing. Yeah. You know, the, the love that he has on that day, the spirit that you feel in the room. Yeah. You could feel that person is over the moon about this woman. And that's what love okay. is. I think... It's a, it's a true love. I Beautiful. Yeah. That, this is the love you're talking to mm. about between Grasa and Madiba. Indeed. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you also managed to, I'm just having a look at the time, obviously capture a lot of moments with him and Winnie. Um, did, you, did you see that relationship starting to fail? Um, did yeah, you, did especially you see when the court case was going, uh, uh, going on at that time. Mandela used to attend a lot of court cases in, uh, in uh, what's called in downtown Johannesburg. Yeah. You could see the, 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 the strain at that moment. It's happening. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Sam, I can't wait for the series to come through. I think this is going to be some incredible footage and, uh, and just giving us another glimpse into the life and times of Madiba, uh, a man that we revere so much and the world looks on as well. This is the year of Nelson Mandela and uh, you've got a good few months left of this year, so best you start cracking on that so we I can, so. we can get so. to show that right here I on I think SBC. so, yes, indeed. Thank you, Sam. Thank you and for I'll be very time. happy if it gets shown all over, yes. I indeed. hope so too, around oh, the world so much, too. Yeah. It's an absolute pleasure. Uh, Sam, who is a, a cameraman here at the SABC, Sam CB, who works a lot behind the scenes of many of the television programs you see, some of the sterling work for the uh, broadcaster. All right, it is 8